Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by today. Right, today I'm going to share with you how to make these cute little gift card holders. But first I want to share with you why I'm making them. I'm going to be making them for a local boutique called Main Street Boutique. They give these away with the purchase of a gift card during the holiday season. And um, I love shopping there. They are a local business, so I love supporting the local business owned by a mother and daughter, local women. And I purchased this there. It's one of my favorite thing, places to shop. And so um, I love this. It's super comfortable, but it also sums up a lot of my experience with Stampin' Up! And that was what draw me, drew me to it. She believed she could, so she did. And that is a sentiment in one of our stamp sets called Feel Goods. And I love it. There's also other greetings in that set that I love. But that's one that just resonates with me because I have been able to set goals and achieve them, things that I never dreamed possible. And that's kind of this, my, sums up my experience with Stampin' Up! And so I know you didn't come today to hear about that, but I would love to share with you how to make this. So let's get started. Aren't they just cute? You can see I got several designs. All of the little punch outs, I used the, either the one and three eighths or my one and a half inch circle punch. I think a few of them I actually used my one and a quarter inch circle punch too because they were a little bit smaller image. But these are cut, um, punched out of the Home for Christmas designer series paper. And so I'm just going to go ahead and set those aside. You can see I got a good start on them. And what you're going to need to make them is first a piece that is two inches by eight and a half. So you can get five out of one eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. And then you will simply punch either end with the scallop tag topper punch and then just bring the ends together and fold. And then you take a white piece and this piece is two and three quarters wide by five and three eighths. And then I have scored at one and a quarter from each side. So I simply put it in my paper trimmer and scored one and then flip it around and score the other. And then I ran it through the Big Shot with the softly falling embossing folder. So of course it looks like it's snowing out. And I can see I forgot my adhesive. I'm going to grab that. Oh, here it is. And what you're going to do is take the folded red piece and just center it between your two score lines. And you're going to put adhesive on one side and glue it right to the back. And this is going to be the back side. And then you'll take adhesive on the opposite side. And you'll just bring that. So now I have the front. You would go ahead and simply put your punched out image. Then I took another piece that I punched or cut actually. It is two and one eighth by, now I'm forgetting, let's put it on here. That's what we have a measure, three and three eighths. And that really is the side size of your, it's going to hold your gift card. And so I did stamp a Merry Little Wish um, on the front side. And then I took a piece of our tear and tape and I just wrote on it. So how this works is then you would just remove the tear and tape and that's going to make that sticky. I'm not going to take it off for now. And then you would attach your gift card. So you have a place to sign. Then I'm going to take, then you'll need a 15 inch piece of ribbon. I'm using the quarter inch white cotton ribbon. And you actually slide that through both openings. So you can see the opening there and about halfway. Then you will take your Merry Little Wish that you've stamped with your gift card attached and slide it down in. And you really want to pull so that your tails of your ribbon are even. And then you just simply tie those in a knot by looping it around your finger and pull the ends through. And then you can see the finished one. So when you pull it out, your gift card would be on the back side, attach the back side, and you have a place to sign and put who it's from on the front side. That's really how easy it is. I did add a little bit of red sparkle. You can use red glitter or you can use 
um, some other product to add that to it. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. That's how quick and easy it is to make these. And I just finished making 50. Enjoy!